Hello fellow brawlers, I'm Kairos Time, and it is time for another Brawlympics! That's right guys, today's event is going to be the survival test. Basically, the survival test is going to be how long can each of the brawlers survive against the sniper bot in the training cave. They can deal damage to the bot if it will somehow help them with this challenge, however, they cannot actually kill the bot. In this event, they are able to start with their super charged up, and they also may use their star power if it will help them in some way. Whether it's an ability that heals, or an ability that shields damage, or even an ability that helps them like knock the bot back or like helps them dodge one shot then they can do that as well the one stipulation on that is that they have to be on the actual bot when they use their ability and reminder they can't they can't kill the bot. Additionally, jumping brawlers must jump onto the bot and charging brawlers must charge toward the wall directly to the right of the bot so that the bot is still within close range of the brawlers. However, they can't actually like try to dodge the shots with any regular movement, but they actually may stun the bot if it will help. Now the timer starts at the very frame that the brawler actually takes damage from the bot and it ends on the very frame that the brawler dies. Also, if there are any brawlers that are somehow Able to survive for an infinite amount of time, the tiebreaker will be determined by which of the brawlers has the highest base HP. As always, guys, I'm going to be giving you guys a chance to guess which of the brawlers will win out of a group. And for every brawler that you guess correctly, you get a very special point. And, and the person with the most points at the end wins. Let's go ahead and get started. Starting out, we've got a competition between five brawlers. That's going to be Brock. Piper, Cold Rico, and Crow. Which of these guys do you think has the highest survivability? Well, if you guessed Rico, then you are <laughs> very wrong, and I feel bad for you. Along with a few others, Rico has the lowest health in the game at 3,360 when he's maxed out. Now, he does not have a way to dodge the sniper bot, and he does not have a way to heal or shield or knock the bot back or anything like that. And uh, really, he's only able to survive against the sniper bot for 8.2 seconds, and that puts Rico in 26th place, which is dead last for this entire competition. Up next, we actually have Brock and Colt. Now, they have the second lowest HP in the game, but they don't have any means of avoiding damage. They are both able to survive for 9.7 seconds, and this actually ties them with Crow for 23rd place. Now, Crow, once again, able to survive for 9.7 seconds. Despite him having less HP than Colton Brock, if he jumps right before the sniper bot fires, the sniper bot will actually miss an attack. One thing to note is the fact that Crow actually has to auto-aim his super onto the bot so that he'll land exactly on, type of, on top of it, and that sniper bot's hitbox is actually just barely small enough that all of the daggers from his super will actually miss when he actually lands, and that means that the bot won't die, and this makes this a legal move for Crow to use in this event. In fact, that buys Crow one additional shot of health, and that is why he's able to tie with Brock and Colt for 23rd place at once again 9.7 seconds. Now if you guessed Piper would win this first round, you would be correct. Though I imagine maybe most people didn't choose Piper, I don't know. Very similar to Crow, if Piper actually jumps right before the bot fires, one of the shots will actually miss her. But even though Piper and Crow have the same jumping distance, Piper actually stays in the air longer than Crow does, and that buys her a little bit of extra time. Doing this perfectly, the sniper bot takes 10.2 seconds to take Piper out, which places her in 22nd place. Okay guys, up next is a competition between Penny, Jesse, Tara, Leon, and Dynamite. Which of these five do you think are going to win this round of the survival test? Well, actually, all of those brawlers have 4,480 health, other than Dynamite, who has 3,920 health. Now, Penny and Jesse have no way of avoiding any damage at all. Leon's invisibility doesn't help him because the bot can actually see him up when he's up close. Uh, even when his super is activated. And Terra technically could knock the bot up into the air with her super and buy herself a little bit of time, but her star power shadow would actually end up killing the bot, so that would disqualify her. This means that because Penny, Jesse, Leon, and Terra all have the same amount of HP, they all tie for 17th place, each lasting 11.1 seconds. Now then we have Dynamite, who has less health, but is able to use his star power to jump into the air and avoid one of the bot's shots giving him just a little bit of extra time. Now, two of his attacks actually would have killed the bot, so he's only allowed one. As such, I chose to use his super because it's the coolest out of them. Uh, and that means that Dynamite actually also lasts for 11.1 seconds, tying him for 17th place as well. This means that no matter which of the five brawlers you selected, you gain a point for this round because you're awesome. And because everybody got a point, everybody's awesome! Now, up next is a competition between Bo, Shelly, and Gene. 
for 14th place. Now they all have 5,040 health at max level, but one of them does come out on top. Can you figure out which one it is? Well, if you guess Shelly, then you would be wrong. Shelly super deals too much damage against the sniper bot for her to use it at close range. But even if she could use it, her super pushes brawlers back and slows them. And it does also reset their animation, but it does nothing to stop an attack like the sniper bot's attack. So she ends up lasting for 13.9 seconds, and Gene also lasts for 13.9 seconds. Because he's required to stand right next to the sniper bot, he isn't able to actually use his super to like stun the bot while it's traveling toward him. Uh, because his super is instantaneous when he's right next to his target. As such, Shelly and Jean both tie for 15th place. And Bo actually ends up winning out of the three. Now, the reason why Bo does get a little bit ahead of the other two is because of the 0.3 seconds that the bot is in the air after it has been blasted by one of his mines from his super. Now, the timing and the positioning has to be absolutely perfect, but if the bot does get blown up by only one mine right before it shoots, one of its shots will be delayed. In this situation, it takes the bot 14.2 seconds to take Bo out, placing him in 14th place. Okay, guys, up next is a competition between BB, Spike, Barley, and Carl. This is actually going to be an interesting one because Barley and Spike both have the lowest HPs in the game, uh, tied with a few others, but they have ways to survive longer than other low HP brawlers. If you're able to guess the right one, first up is BB. Now, BB has an above average health of 5,880 at max level. Now, the real question is, does she get a benefit from using her knock? Back ability and the answer is no brawlers that can knock the bot into the air will get a benefit because the bot cannot attack while the bot is in the air now bb's knockback doesn't knock targets back into the air it just pushes them back therefore bb can only rely on her health and that lasts 15.3 seconds now up next is spike who despite having the lowest hp in the game tied with a few others he has his star power ability that allows him to heal 500 HP per second for five seconds. Now in comparison, that's an additional 2,500 health, and when added to his regular health, it's like he has a 5,860 uh, level of health, and that's actually really close to BB's health. That's right, Spike also lasts for 15.3 seconds, tying him with BB for 12th place. Now after Spike and BB is Carl. Carl has an impressive 6,160 health at max level. He can't block any damage from any of his abilities or heal or anything like that, and that means that it takes 13 sniper hits for him to get taken out. And that takes 16.6 .6 seconds, which is kind of boring. Uh, but what's really interesting is how Barley actually competes with Carl. Now, Barley is tied with several brawlers that have the lowest HP in the game. But for his star power, he heals 300 every time he throws out a regular attack. Now, I timed this perfectly so that I could get in as many heals as I possibly could, and that ended up being nine uh, heals from his attack. And that's an additional 2,700 damage, or health, and when you add that to his base health, it's like Barley has 6,060 total health. And that means that Barley also requires 13 sniper hits in order for him to get taken out, uh, which ties him with Carl. And I will say that it's very interesting to see that Barley's star power alone increases his survivability placement from 26th all the way up to 10th place. Okay guys, up next is a competition between Bull, Daryl, Poco, and Rosa. Best of luck figuring this one out. Up next is Daryl in ninth place. Now Daryl has a few different features that allow him to improve his score. The first is his decent amount of HP. The second is the fact that he can knock the bot into the air twice, stalling the bot by just a bit. And the third is his star power that actually shields his damage by 40% for 3.5 seconds. All of these things work together to allow him to last for 17 seconds against the sniper bot. And after Daryl is Bull. Bull has the highest HP in the group at 7,280 at max level. This is the third highest in the game, and it certainly helps him out in this event. But he's also able to charge toward the wall, and the knockback does kick the bot up into the air, which stalls the bot just a little bit, and in total it takes the bot 15 hits in order to take Bull out, which means that Bull is able to survive for 19.9 seconds, placing him in 8th. And after Bull is Rosa, claiming 7th place. Rosa has the 4th highest HP in the game at 7,000 <laughs> HP at max level, and despite her super being heavily nerfed recently, the fact that it shields 70% of damage for 3.5 seconds does give her a slight advantage. In total, the shield is able to block 700 damage from the sniper bot, and this means that Rose is able to survive for an impressive 20.8 seconds. However, 
The winner of the group actually goes to Poco, who takes 6th place. Poco has a base health of 5,320, but his super heals him for an additional 2,940 at max level, so it's basically like he has 8,260 health. This means that it requires 17 hits to take him out, which takes 22.2 seconds. Now, although that isn't really like super exciting, it is cool to see how his super is enough to boost his position all the way up to sixth place for this Brawl Olympics event. And it would also be a really big benefit to anybody else that is playing with him. He's he's definitely one of the best for improving team survivability. Okay, guys, we're down to the final five for this event. And up next is a competition for third place between Mortis, Frank, and El Primo. It's a really tough call, but who do you think is going to win? Well, it's certainly not El Primo. <laughs> El Primo is tied with Frank for having the highest HP in the game at 8,120 at max level. Normally, it would require 17 hits for El Primo to get taken out, which would tie him with Poco. However, I... <laughs> I tried this really hard to time his super perfectly so that he would actually jump over one of the sniper bot's shots, sparing him a little bit of time. In total, it takes the bot 23.6 seconds to take him out, placing him in fifth place. And coming in fourth place is Frank. Now, Frank also has a base HP of 8,120 health, but Frank is also able to make use of his super to stun the sniper bot. And his super is... Uh, has just enough range for him to actually hit some of the other bots which recharges his super and by stunning the bot twice he's able to further prolong his life even more than El Primo allowing him to last for 25 seconds. But what's really crazy guys is Mortis who takes third place. Now Mortis has one of the lowest healths for close range brawlers at 5320 when he's at max level. However, right when he's about to die to the sniper bot, he's actually able to use his super up towards the group of bots, which allows him to fully reheal himself. This also charges up his super and he's able to fire off two more supers without killing the sniper bot, and this solidifies his third place position because it takes a full 58.5 seconds in order for the sniper bot to take him out. Okay, now we have covered every single brawler in the game other than two brawlers. Do you remember who they are? Now eventually each brawler will die to the sniper bot with the exception of these last two. So the question is, who will win between Pam and Nita? Now in one corner we have Nita. When Nita has her star power, whenever her bear or her dog or her rain bear summon uh, deals damage to the enemy target, it heals Nita for 500 health. Her bear has a reload speed just barely faster than twice that of the sniper bot, and that means that her bear will actually give her an unlimited amount of health. Even after the bear takes out the boss bot, it will make its way back up to the swarm bots and continue to supply Nita with health. And after her bear actually takes out all of them, then before the bear will make it over to the sniper bot, it will actually, the, the bots will spawn, respawn, and the bear will move right back toward those swarm, swarm bots. Uh, so basically Nita can effectively survive against this bot forever. <laughs> I know it's not really practical in a regular fight sense, but you know, that's, that's how this test works. And then of course, in the other corner, we have Pam. And with Pam super, her healing station heals 440 48 health every half a second and since the sniper bot's reload speed is slightly longer than one second Pam can actually heal herself infinitely just like Nita can. Additionally if Pam really wanted to she could unload a full attack on the bot and use her star power to heal up even faster for a limited amount of time. Now because both of these brawlers can survive for an unlimited amount of time the tiebreaker between them is their base HP at max level. Nita has 5320 health which means she gets second place and Pam has 6,020, which means she gets first. How many points did you guys get for this event? Did you get them all right? Because if you did, you just may well be a, a Brawl Stars master. Make sure you drop a comment in the section below letting me know which events you want to see in the future, as well as what you thought about this one. For now, this is Kairos Time ticking by, and we will see you in Brawl Stars.